everybody with Mr. Green Hands. I'm just gonna give you guys a really quick update of what's going on. Today it has been absolutely belting with rain in the UK. I've got no idea what's going on. So let me just give you a quick update. I don't think you guys have seen it recently. What happened? Let's give you guys that. I have just had to do a quick and protect idea because foxes have been haunting me scratching out everything i've got so i've put some netting down on this here this is some compost with some manure i've got some courgette that i've put in you guys have never seen that they are in there they're looking okay i've kept them underneath the net you remember the guys that my beetroot weren't doing so well they absolutely died i've sold some more and look how lovely they have come up i sold them down here in the allotment in a little box and i've got my amazing karabi they're in here as well they are looking strong and amazing i just planted these out today because i said it's raining best time to get those things in because the rain water will give them that good extra start the onions these guys are these are the onions foxes have been caning these recently they're looking beautiful look how beautiful big those stems are they're looking amazing but the foxes have been scratching the living daylights out of this area here i have no idea what's going on i really need to either kill them Maybe not. Just joking about that. But find a way to just really and truly manage them. Let me just put this across here. Because I don't want them to be going in there at all. Just to hold down the netting. Let's put some branches as well. Because they're really annoying. After all that hard work. They want to come and just scratch. It's not even like they take anything out of it. They literally just scratch the compost out of the box. I'm going to just, you know. And just destroy my stuff. Not, not, not good. I'm good. not having that. I need to find a way to do that. We need to go find a way to keep them off here. That's the other, other unembed. I really need to weed it out. I'm going to have to weed it out. You know, it's starting to look a bit bushy, like myself here. But it's looking good as well. It's coming on nicely. But for some reason, they haven't troubled this one here. Maybe they haven't noticed it is there, but they haven't troubled this onion bed. And. I've got some corn. I don't think you guys have seen them. I've got some corn in here. No, you haven't seen them because I've not put them up. I've not shown them at all. I've just been randomly sowing some extra stuff as well. Got some corn. Got some cardboard down here to keep the grass off. My sweet potatoes. I've planted them. So they're in here. I've had to protect them as well because in, <laughs> the foxes are really giving me a really bad time. Let me see if I can get you guys a better look. That's what my sweet potatoes look like right now. They are in here coming up nicely. In the back of them, I planted some normal potatoes. My friend gave me some. He has some extra um, seeds. So I've stuck them in here and they look, look how beautiful they look. They're coming on absolutely amazing. And the sweet potatoes are coming on nicely as well. These are some karabi. Karabi at the front here. I planted them out last week. They're looking so strong and delicious. Can't wait to see the result of that. And my good friend as well gave me some tomatoes at the back. I'm not even sure what they are. He, they, he had some labels, so I've stuck the labels there. I will let you know what they are in a future update. And I've got some other tomatoes planted in here as well. And you've got some beetroot as well. They're coming up nicely, so I've planted them together because beetroot and karabi, they help each other to grow. So I've done a companion plant in there, which is fantastic. The carrots, guys. Pff, wow. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can, let me just give you guys a better look. They're coming up really my first time ever planting carrots. And guys, they're looking good. They're looking beautiful. I'm going to keep it covered as always because I don't want Mr. Fox to be in there killing off my stuff. I've got covered over here. I didn't have any luck with the cucumbers. So someone gave me some cucumber plants. They're at. So they're, they're there. They are in this box of the carrots. So I'm going to make something like a little trellis on this wall here and let it grow onto that. And I might make it come out a little bit towards the front here as well. A little bit so it can grow on it as well and just let it grow everywhere because by the time and anything is possible i just want it to grow everywhere my radish boy radish is looking amazing amazing these are some corns i planted in there i sold them in there didn't show you guys 
So the beetroot, this is where I sold my beetroot. And I, this is where you guys have seen me sow my karabi. And this is why, where I've been taking the karabi, which are... I'm going to leave some in here. I'm going to take some out and I'm going to pop it over in the main main garden beds just to fill it up as well. And there's a few extra things that I'm on here, guys. So that's just a quick update in June. Get in there, guys, but it's not easy. The weather is really starting to beat me up at the moment. And it's looking good. I'm taking my time and getting everything ready. But you guys are going to see it's actually when summer hits us in July. We're going to have a beautiful, covered, green and amazing garden. Stay blessed, stay safe and look after yourself and the planet. I'm out. This is Mr. Greenhands. Catch you guys soon.